what's going on guys so my legs are really sore and I can't really it's very hard to walk but fuck it we're gonna go and walk around the day so anyway um, I'm about to go to the gym and I thought I'd make this video really fast because I think this is actually a bigger problem than most people think so I'm really trying to improve myself I'm trying to uh, take a look at my habits cut down on the bad ones replace them with good ones and one thing I noticed that I really do often, and I know a lot of people do, is hit that snooze alarm in the morning. You see, when you hit that snooze alarm in the morning, it's like you're putting off the inevitable. You know you have to get up, and you know you have stuff to do. I know I think that the same way. And essentially, you're not getting any quality rest from the extra 20, 30, 60 minutes after your alarm goes off. Plan a time for you to wake up and wake up at that time. And that's got to be it. Don't overthink it. You have to just do it. You know? And I'm kind of telling myself the same thing. So today I did that. I finally woke up. I set my alarm for 540, which is pretty early, a little early for me. I'm I used to wake up really early back in the vet, like back in a uh, last year around 4 a.m. to do boot camps. That was too early. I kind of like 5:30. Right before the sun comes up, I'm feeling some type of way. I feel like I'm getting a head start on my day. I get myself started in the morning. I take my cold shower. I do my meditation for 10 minutes. And then I will stretch out a little bit, loosen up my body. I'll take any notes, things that I think about. And it was nice because I didn't feel so damn rushed. I didn't feel like I was getting out of bed. And also... Like I said, back to the quality of that 30 minutes that you snoozed, you're basically just laying there thinking about what you need to do. And that's fucking stressful. Also, you've already accumulated an L, which is a loss. You've already said to yourself, I'm going to put it off. I'm going to put off getting out of bed. That's the first thing you did. Now, you have this really crappy start to your day. How are you supposed to accomplish great things when you can't even get out of bed? It's these tiny little battles every single day that we need to face. And we need to try our best to win these little battles because they skyrocket and they add up over the grand scheme of things. These little battles are so important. The same ones that say, uh, go, you know, go to Wendy's and get everything on the menu. There's that. There's types of pornography that you can just go and grab to there's TV YouTube videos, Hulu Netflix, whatever the case is these things that make us very comfortable and they are they don't require much effort or thought put into it in order to do it and we kind of just sit there like zombies I know this is kind of falling off but look when you put off things you're more easily distracted when you put off the fact that you're getting out of bed you can notice the rest of the day you spend more time on your phone, more time on Instagram, more time mindlessly surfing because your brain is just in this fog. I'm essentially just making this message to get out of bed. Set the time. Plan your day out, even if it's not to the T. Write down something. You don't have to do it perfectly, but just write something down and what your ideal day would be in order to help you progress. I did that last night. I woke up on time this morning. And I already feel a difference. I feel a difference in my jiu-jitsu this morning. I felt a difference in the way I was creatively writing and putting down notes and even making this video right now. There's a way that I feel. It could also be that I did hot yoga last night. I also did some football over the weekend, which are two really new things to me. I performed in my first foot, uh, it was flag football, my first football game, which was dope as fuck. They basically were just like, all right, that guy, go run at him and take his flag. And if he throws his ball, follow the ball and just run as fast as you can. I was like, okay, because I'm fast, which is crazy that I'm fast because I don't even run. I just do Olympic weightlifting and powerlifting and squats and I focus on hip movement and how I run. And I focus on the technique of running versus just trying to go at it really hard. And it's amazing. I just, I don't even do it. And it worked out. I was, guess it was... The guy that goes up to the quarterback. That's essentially what I was playing. But they want to throw me in wide receiver because I actually got a touchdown during practice. But I'm not here to gloat about myself. I'm just kidding. I fucking suck at this. I'm literally first starting. But I can definitely see 
that being a lot of fun. And like I said, hot yoga. I was terrified of that. But I sat 90 minutes in that fucking oven. And honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I actually thought it was going to be way worse. Which is crazy because our thoughts literally can make up a fake storyline about something or someone. Or a circumstance or like many events chained together. And just create this fake emotion that you're not even thinking about. Or that you're thinking about but it's not actually real. Always return back to that still point, that breath. Know what you need to do and get it done. There's time and place for fun and games, but there's also time and place for sometimes you don't want to get out of bed, but you put your work boots on, you brush your teeth, you drink your water, and you just go. And that's my message to you now. Just go.